On the day, May 21st, 2017, something traumatic happened that me and one of my best friends can never forget. On a Sunday, on a sunny Friday morning, my friend Jamie and I woke up from a long night of laughing and telling our favorite memories of each other. Both of us woke up around the same time and the smell of warm pancakes lured us downstairs. We soon stuffed our faces and were very satisfied. After breakfast, Jamie and I talked some more and snuggled with my old dog, Sue. Jamie and I were obsessed with Sue's soft white coat and loved tossing toys to her to retreat, although she rarely brought them back to us. <laughs> Never up. Near the middle of the day, when all the bees and butterflies were peacefully roaming around, Jamie had an odd idea that I automatically agreed to. Since, since we both loved Sue's soft fur so much, we decided to collect as much of our neighbor's dog hair that we could find. <laughs> okay, and we would store it in our own plastic baggies. <laughs> Jamie and I both dashed to find two plastic bags from our door in the house, and we were off. We were running and jumping over small bushes that were planted in soft soil that laid underneath us and we're laughing about how crazy and fun this idea was going to be. When suddenly I felt this sharp piercing in my left foot, I screamed. I fell hopelessly to the ground, not knowing what was happening. Jamie immediately turned around and ran inside yelling for someone to help me. Uh, immediately one of my brothers, named Alex, picked me up off the ground and rushed me inside. So many things were going inside my head at this moment. Was I going to be okay? Was I gonna have to go to the hospital? Why won't this pain go away? As these thoughts were freely roaming around in my head, Alex, Alex discovered that a bee stung my left foot. Soon after that, Alex immediately took the stinger, took the stinger with a san took the stinger out with a sanitized dirt coat. Actually, I don't think it was, I don't think it was sanitized, but <laughs> after a few minutes, the pain was being beginning to relieve, but my breath wasn't. Breathing became more and more <coughs> difficult over time. Um, soon my lips developed a dark purpley tint, um, and that is when my, my mom decided to take action and to rush me to the nearest hospital. When me and my worried mom arrived at the hospital, and we told the nurse what had happened to me. They laid me on a, uh, like a, a stretcher and rushed me past the people who have been waiting for several hours. They put me in a room that was only used for emergencies. And um, the, doc the doctor, um, and immediately the doctor came in and to attend to me. He took a few glances at me and immediately knew what to do. The doctor explained that I was in anaphylactic shock and only an EpiPen would get me out of it. Okay, um, so my mom, so my mom gave, so my mom gave consent and they got me ready for the biggest needle I have seen in my life. I thought it was going to be the worst pain I have experienced in my life, but it actually wasn't as bad as I imagined it to be. After the EpiPen was over, my mom waited for me to rejuvenate. I stayed in the hospital for a few hours after that because they had to make sure I was okay. In conclusion, some of my friends have crazy ideas that I follow through with, but I still carry an EpiPen to this day. Nice!